Resource-Based Learning by Diana Sierski, Nikki Garmany, and Gretchen Hollingsworth. Resource-Based Learning is an educational model designed to actively engage students with multiple resources in both print and non-print form. Resource-Based Learning is not tied to a single learning theory or to any specific pedagogy. Traditionally, resource-based learning has been used to supplement more instructivistic teaching methods. However, the volume of information available and the ability to transmit that information in multiple formats has refocused attention on the potential of resource-based learning to support emerging inquiry-based models. Resource-based learning is predicated upon the principle that individual learners will be drawn to the media and content which best match their own processing skills and learning styles. Learners take responsibility for selecting resources that appeal to their own learning preferences, interests, and abilities. In a resource-based learning environment, students become more self-sufficient. They ask productive questions, they synthesize, analyze, interpret, and evaluate information. When resources are incorporated into planned, authentic tasks, students develop very valuable skills and techniques. The students become autonomous, and independence becomes evident. They become self-directed learners and are in control of their learning. They also become effective users of information, a skill they can carry with them long after the lesson is over. Implementation of resource-based learning in the classroom can be a very beneficial experience for both the learners and instructors. It's important to know the steps that are involved in implementing a resource-based learning unit to ensure that maximum learning can occur. The first step is to begin with clearly identified instructional goals. By identifying the goals, a more structured learning environment is created, and there is little confusion as to what the outcome of the learning will be. Resource-based learning is time-consuming. Therefore, these goals must reflect higher order thinking skills. Deeper understanding of the subject matter is an important aspect to strive for. The second step is to determine acceptable student produced artifacts. The possibilities are seemingly endless, but can include timelines, electronic slideshows, dramatic readings, videos, debates, and poster board presentations. These artifacts should be challenging if deeper understanding is to be achieved. However, the product should be realistic to avoid frustration in the student. When this balance is achieved, an optimum level of learning can be reached. The third step involves collaboration with the media specialist. The teacher is no longer the sole instructor as the media specialist can help divide the responsibilities and help plan the unit. This is the time to form a unit timeline to ensure that their resources are utilized efficiently. For example, guest speakers and other resources need to be scheduled well in advance. This combination also allows for more guidance throughout the unit because there are more instructors available to the learners. The collaboration continues as the teacher and media specialist evaluate the student performance as well as the unit itself. The fourth step is selecting resources in a variety of formats. Resources should be relevant, they should be up to date, and they should be accessible. This list will grow and change as new technology is introduced and obtained. The goal is to increase student knowledge, understanding, and skill. There is more than enough room for creativity when selecting the resources for the learners to use. The media specialist plays a crucial role in resource-based learning, beginning with the selection and acquisition of curriculum-supported materials. They must find the most appropriate information, maps, music, or video from the plethora of resources that are available. Media specialists must be technologically up to date in order to offer the latest resources. The media specialist must also teach students how to efficiently use the various resources in order to maximize their potential, whether that be the internet, the video player, or a nonfiction picture book. There are many roles teachers have in resource-based learning. They must first act as coaches, facilitators, or guides as their learners are encountering and manipulating information in multiple new formats. 
Instead of teachers teaching facts, they now teach students how to learn by finding, evaluating, and using the information they have available to them. Teachers must also thoughtfully design their units. They should ask questions, guide the students into finding more information, and motivate them to stay interested and involved in their own learning. It is also the job of the teacher to ensure that learning does, in fact, occur. This is in contrast to the typical idea of the teacher being the instructor, and now the goals have shifted. The goal now is to produce capable members of a large and interrelated community, learners that are responsible and self-motivated. Resource-based learning offers many benefits. It is engaging. It also allows students to master information literacy skills through a variety of means, including encyclopedias, almanacs, technology tools, and other resources. Student motivation is increased due to the display and or presentation of final products. The freedom to explore various resources empowers students. They have the power to search for and unearth information that may not even be known by their teachers or parents. The use of technology allows students to change their thinking and experience virtual environments and open-ended lessons. Resource-based learning promotes problem solving and higher order thinking skills and allows students to reach the highest levels of Bloom's taxonomy. It offers flexibility. Students can work independently or collaboratively. Resource-based learning maximizes the use of instruction resources and time while offering an easy way to incorporate technology into the curriculum. Adding to the benefits of resource-based learning is the flexibility of having students work independently or cooperatively. Also, resource-based learning is a great way to maximize the use of instructional resources and time while offering an easy way to incorporate technology. The benefits of resource-based learning are plentiful as students are opened up to a world of flexibility that allows students to take advantage of the various resources available to them. Although resource-based learning offers a wide variety of benefits, some challenges are apparent. Cooperative planning between the teacher and media specialist requires time, effort, and good communication skills. Resource-based learning requires a timetable for the unit, student grouping, structuring the learning environment, management of the unit, and summative evaluation. All of these tasks can pose a challenge when trying to successfully implement a unit. In addition to these challenges, assessment can also be difficult, as these types of units do not typically follow a traditional method for assessment. However, rubrics can be helpful in this area. Due to the dynamic components of resource-based learning, challenges such as online information accessibility issues, determining the reliability and validity of digital resources, and the increased opportunity for plagiarism. In order to be successful, resource-based learning requires administrative support, media specialist flexibility, and adequate funding for resources.